Hi, it's Antonio again, Tech Tip of the, uh, the Day with Mr. Saw Machine. Thank you for following us up on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. This is a new video I uh, just like to share with you guys. People who own machines with needle threaders, I'm going to give you a couple examples with different needle threaders. If you use not there, just send me a comment and we may send you a link where you can look at it. But anyway, uh, we're gonna start with um, with a basic um, needle threader. The one is built on most of the common machines. We're gonna go over to this model, and I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna use these tweezers because my hands are kind of big. Uh, I'm gonna try to show you step by step how to do it, and I'm gonna jump over to this model over here. I'm gonna use this particular model. This is the baby lock joy with the needle threader on it. One of the things you have to do, make sure your needle is on, on the highest position. You see the needle all the way to the top, right there. And you thread, you already thread your machine. You went all the way, step one, step two, thread three, step four. You're gonna go through this step over here. Make sure you thread this cut on this little thread, guys. I'm gonna use this, these tweezers and that way you guys can see what I'm doing right here. And I'm gonna make sure you can see really well this one because this is the most common needle threader you see in a lot of models. You see this lever over here? This lever, will, you have to pull it down, all the way down, and then you're gonna put your thread under this little plastic piece. You see this little plastic piece? It goes all the way down and then push it to the back a little bit until your needle hits this section. And then your thread's gonna go under, move it over, you're gonna touch the tip of the needle right here, touch the tip of the needle, move it to the back, raise them up. Like when I say raise them up, it's like move it up the thread. You see my hand over here on this section? Now I release this lever by pushing it and releasing my thread at the same time. One, two, three, and it's already threaded. Now you have your needle already threaded, and then you're ready to stitch. If you want me to do it again, I'll show you again. I'm gonna do it one more time, and that way you can see it. Lower your lever, put your thread under that piece, push your lever to the back, position your thread, touching the needle, move it to the back, press your thread up, and then push the lever back to you, and then your loop is gonna come out to the back. That's normally on this particular model. Now I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go over to a different needle threader. A different needle threader will give me, it's, it's slightly, slightly different, but on the end, you're gonna see, uh, it makes sense the way you put your threads on position. Otherwise you're gonna struggle by uh, using the needle threader. More because nobody tell you exactly how you're gonna use it. Now I'm gonna go over to the next model, this one over here. This one have this lever, you press it down. The same thing, make sure your needle is all the way up to the highest position. When it doesn't move up and down, you can see it right here, your needle all the way up. I'm gonna take the thread, I'm gonna take the thread out of this section, position it right about here, press it down, all the way down, this one, you don't have to push anything. You just push it down, move it over, get your thread cut by this little section right here, move it up here, touch the tip of the needle, move it up, hold it right there, and then as soon as you release your hand, this hand over here, what you're pressing down, this one, you release your thread, and it's already threaded right here. And then you pull your thread to the back, and your thread is already on the needle. You can see it right here, you see? It's already on the needle. I'm gonna do it one more time, and that way you can see it. Now on this particular one, press all the way down, put your thread under the little hook, touch the tip of the needle. When I say touch the tip of the needle, it's touching this little section right here. When you move it over, touch the section, move it up, all the way up, and release your thread and your lever at the same time. And your thread is already on your needle. Now for the ones, for the ones that don't have a needle threader, I got something really cool. I call it the magic needle threader. But 
that's one of the things you can use it in any type of machine. Doesn't matter if you have a needle threader, if you're having a hard time using it, you will be able to use this little tiny gadget. Now, with this one, with this little gadget, you should be able to thread your machine. But on the end, uh, it's just a matter of how hard you try to thread your needle. It's always hard threading it just with your hands. Having a needle threader, it makes your life so easy. Doesn't matter if it's built on your machine or if you're using this type of needle threader. This is my favorite one. Uh, we used to have the old wires. You had to put it through the eye of the needle. It was so difficult. But with this particular one, you're going to see how easy it is. Now I'm going to go over to my machine. And we're going to see. Now we are on the machine. We're going to put this thread. You see these little triangles right here? It has to be facing up the little hook. This little hook right here has to be facing up. I don't know if you can see it there, but on the end you have the little triangles right here. Always facing up, your thread's gonna go sideways. When I put this thread right here, my thread just get on this position. I don't know if you can see it there. It just laying inside there. Now my needle is gonna go on the middle and then I press a little bit above the eye of the needle slide it down and my needle is going to have my needle is going to have um, the thread through the hole already the only thing I do you see that little loop on the back catch it with it with a little hook and pull it and your needle is going to be threaded I'm going to do it again and that way you guys can see it little triangle facing up and then your thread is going to go sideways right here this is how you're catching your thread Put it right in the middle and your needle is going to go on straight up and then you touch it slide it down and then you can feel when the needle threader goes through the eye of the needle and then you take the stuff take the needle threader out and then you pull the thread out this needle threader is one of my favorite ones because i can use it on any type of needle threader that's what i recommend to have this type when you don't have any and we normally carry on the store um, and it's so convenient for soldiers, regular sewing machine, commercial machines. Doesn't matter what type of sewing machine you have, this little needle threader will be the key for you to thread your needles really easy. This is uh, something I would recommend. If you got any questions, any suggestions, follow us up on MrSewingMachine.com and follow our Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. We'll be posting tips and uh, just uh, let us know what you want to know about machines. And that way, tech tip of the day was the needle threader. We'll be so happy to share some of those the knowledge I have for uh, everybody who sews or who wants to sew. All your uh, comments, we accept it. We will be answering. If you got questions, let us know. Anything you need to know about machines. Give a heads up and we will put it on one of these tips, tech tip of the day. But anyway, have a nice day. Enjoy your needle threader. Hopefully you get to use it. If you have questions, let us know. Follow us up on Facebook, Instagram. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Take care.